What's up ladies and gentlemen, and today I will be teaching you guys how to build a 1.7 million word list. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I spent so much time today on Google searching and advanced searching for word lists that are only fucking like 300 kilobytes big and only have like 50 words in them. Alright, I just installed Backtrack 5 the other day on my spare laptop and it's running Linux. Well, Backtrack 5 is built off Linux, so. <sighs> built off Ubuntu. I don't fucking know. I'm a fucking like Linux new fag or Backtrack new fag. Anyways, so what, what I'm trying to get to is I'm trying to learn all this Backtrack shit and the main thing was I could I needed a word list because I wanted air crack and <laughs> get my neighbor's fucking WBA key and stuff like that. Well, I was trying to get that dictionary list and I could find none. I actually found one, but there's a problem and I seemed to fix it. And me seeming to fix that ended up with me getting a 1.7 million uh, word list. I know it may not seem like much, but 1.7 million words is probably a good place to start. Alright, now also another thing. Since I'm a new fag, at Linux. I don't know anything about Linux. Windows has always been my operating system. I was born using Windows, I've always used Windows, I've never touched a Mac, never touched Linux. And basically Backtrack and Linux Mint are the first ever any other OS's I've ever touched. I mean I've been to a Mac store and I've like played around with Mac using its like scroll fucking mouse two finger things. Well, anyways, so basically, the reason, again, why I'm doing this on here is because I'm trying to get XVidCap working on Backtrack, and for the life of me, I couldn't get it working. And, yeah, so I'm just doing it on here, because this is, has Hypercam, and that's a lot easier. So I'm just going to show you guys in Notepad the commands that you have to type in in the console, or a terminal, console terminal. And yeah, you'll be good to go. I mean, it's it's easy. You don't need me to show you what to do. I mean, it's pretty cool to see things, but you know, you can get through. All right. So first thing you're gonna want to do is get the files that we're gonna need. You're gonna have to go here to darknet.org.uk, and I'll put this in the description. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to where it says, although old, one of the most complete word sets, word list sets, you're going to get the Oxford Uni word lists. You're going to download those, and you're going to, and keep in mind, you're doing this, basically, this is for Linux users only. I'm going to put this in the title. This is for Linux users only. So, basically, you're on Linux, or Backtrack, or fucking... Yeah, you're on one of those. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download this, and then you're going to extract it to an, a folder that you can get to, that you can um, get to easily from terminal. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna change your directory to where that folder was located. Mine was located in my root, and I had it on my desktop. If I can fucking spell desktop, and I had it in the word lists. So it changes the directory to that. After that, you're going to dir, which is going to list every single file in that directory. So it showed everything. And as you can see, it's going to show that you have things that are like length 02.txt and length 03.txt. And I think it goes all the way up to 30, I believe. Well, anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to cat txt and dictionary now two things here right here this word dictionary you can replace with anything you want anything you want this is just basically what we're going to name the output file of the one main txt and two I don't know if right here you have to put txt I can't remember I think you just leave it as dictionary, or leave it as whatever you want to put. 
I, I put mine dictionary because that's what we're doing. We're compiling a dictionary. And to give you the general overlook of what this is, this is basically what we're doing is we're taking everything inside this directory that ends with a .txt and we're shoving them together into one main file right here. Now, you can you can run this if you want to right now, and if it gives you an error, just .txt. If it doesn't, then great, you did it. Now, what you're going to do is write in the is it this file is going to be be made in the directory you change to. So it'll probably just keep on blinking like this for a while, and then it'll finally give you the prompt again for uh, the console prompt or the terminal prompt. Now, what you can do, which is really cool, is you can just cat and then whatever you named it, dictionary or yes, dictionary or whatever you named it, and it's going to list everything in that file. And if you check that file, or the console will actually start flipping through it really quick. It'll start listing all the lengths of all the words you just added. Now, if you were to go back in that directory that you listed right here, and you just basically just open it in gedit, you have to wait a while for it to load all of the words, or sometimes a while. I'm not gonna have to wait like fucking three minutes. You just wait a while. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's this long word that's like that long. Well, right under that word, or just not right under that word, just put your, uh, what it was, a little blinky thingy, I think it's like your cursor. Just put your cursor and click on it. And if you check, I think it's about like right here or so, it'll tell you what line you're on. And that line corresponds if you didn't add any more extra spaces or like file and add any more extra spaces, that line's basically telling you what word you're on. And if I'm correct, and you did this all correctly, and you're on this part right now, you should say about 1,737,000 something. And that just basically means you have 1.7 million words. So just make sure that's a TXT file. Just save it anywhere you want, and I'm pretty sure you can use that for anything. Anything that requires a word list. Alright guys, I hope I uh, could help you guys. I mean, like I said, if you guys got stuck right, fuck, if you guys got stuck like right here and this didn't work, just add a TXT at the end. If the TXT doesn't work, if that was the first thing you tried, then take off the TXT. Same thing goes for right here. I'm pretty sure the cat, uh, the cat thing right here, this one, I'm pretty sure this is how you do it if I can remember. And if, like I said, if that doesn't work, then TXT that thing again. Alright. So, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my new videos.